do you know what Medicare covers and what it doesn't? I didn't until I did some research on it. No, I'm still about four years away from it, but I thought most of the stuff would be covered. Most of the important things. Here are the top six things it does not cover. Number one, it only covers a limited amount of nursing home time. Now, I had to deal with this a couple years ago, taking care of my mom after her stroke. I had no idea. We'd never gone through this before. I assumed Medicare would take care of a big chunk of it, if not all of it. Yeah, probably naive, right? But we had never gone through that. Uh, the first place we put her in right after her stroke, before I had done some more research, was $11,000 a month. A month! Now, luckily, after time, I found a, a better place. You know, it was uh, about $4,600 a month for her with her own private room. But still, that's a lot of money. What we found out very quickly is that Medicare only covers the first 100 days. Now, this was two years ago. That's what the rules were then. It could have changed by now, but it's only two years ago, so maybe it's still valid. Hopefully it is. It only covered the first 100 days of her stay in nursing home. After that, it was all up to us. It was all on us. So luckily we got her out of that $11,000 a month facility, even though it was very nice, very quickly. We couldn't afford that afterwards. So that's the number one. Big thing, right? Number two, chiropractic care. I swear by chiropractors. About 20 years ago, I ruptured a disc in my back and I went to a doctor, he advised surgery. He said, unless you get surgery, you're not gonna be able to walk too good for the rest of your life. <clears throat> so I went and got a second opinion with a chiropractor because my mom had always been very, very high in chiropractors. He said, you give me 30 days of treatment, we'll get you back good as new. That's what they did. 30 days later, I was up and going. Now, back surgery is very risky. I didn't wanna go that route. Sometimes it can be great. Other times you come out worse than when you went in, right? So, number two, chiropractic. Number three, dental work. Doesn't cover dental work. I had no idea. Again, I'm a ways away. I just did some research. It doesn't cover dental work. It's a big thing, especially when you get older. Teeth fail. Doesn't matter how good you've taken care of them in the past. Teeth fail, right? The fourth one, eye exams. Now, as you can tell, I've had eye issues for a while. Excuse me. I need to go see the doctor once in a while for my eyes. I don't know about the rest of you, but especially, it's like everything, isn't it guys? The older you get, the more issues that come up, right? With your health, everything. Now they might not be major, you know? I mean, mine so far have been pretty minor, but I'm only almost 61. These things just compound the older and older you get. Your eyes obviously are very important. It does not cover eye exams. I had no idea. Now, if any of the advice that I'm giving in here is contradictory to what you know, please let me know in the comments, guys. Because again, I just did some research. I'm not an expert. But this is stuff I didn't know. So I'm sure a lot of you might not have known this as well. And there might be points I'm missing um, let me know in the comments because a lot of the viewers on this channel <clears throat> are much younger than I am. We have viewers all the way from early 20s up to in their 70s, some 80s. So let me know. The fifth one, hearing aids. Does not cover hearing aids. Now, let me say something about hearing aids. If you need a hearing aid, wear it. Uh, I know some people who need hearing aids. They don't wear it. You're on the phone with them. Uh huh? Huh? So you start talking really, really loud. Sometimes it doesn't even work. So you have to repeat yourself, repeat yourself. Guys, if you need to wear your hearing aid, don't let vanity get in the way. And now, you know, there's so much, I mean, you know, they've got tiny, tiny little things. It's like a little pea-sized thing you can put in your, in your ear, right? If you need it, do it. So there's another thing, hearing aids also. I have tinnitus. For me, I need to go to get that checked out. Not once a year, but maybe every couple of years because it is slowly and slowly getting worse. 
For me, I was stupid because I worked in the music industry for 20 years. I was one of those idiots who was right up against the speaker, you know, wanting to feel that bass, wanted to just get, just get grunged out back in the grunge days, you know, with that chunky chords. I was an idiot. So ever since then, I've had tinnitus that unless I have something going on in the background, like a fan noise, I need a fan to sleep or else I hear this constantly. So I'm an idiot. I have tinnitus. I need to get my ears checked out every once in a while. Okay. So hearing aids, it does, it does not cover. Number six, and this is a big one, foot care, podiatry. It does not cover that. Especially when you get older, unfortunately, some people that have diabetes, it can really affect your feet. You need to get that checked out. Medicare, to the best of my knowledge, does not cover foot exams. So there are, is a lot of stuff in here that I just assumed, you know, hey, 65, I pay my Medicare, boom, I'm covered, man. So much stuff in there that Medicare does not cover that I had no idea about. So, um, if any of you are veterans, though, like my mother was, the VA just steps in there and picks up stuff that Medicare can't touch. For instance, my uh, mom, when we put her in her nursing home, luckily the VA stepped in and was able to help with not all of the nursing cost bills after that first 100 days that Medicare covered, but, you know, they gave us a good half, two-thirds of what that nursing home cost would be. So if, you, if any of you are veterans, which I'm sure a lot of you are, you guys take advantage of that. My mother never did because she never was really sick. So when she had her stroke at 87, she wasn't even signed up to the VA because she hardly ever needed to go to the hospital or even to the doctor. Make sure you get everything all signed up and ready to go because it was a process. It was a process signing my mom up for the VA because she didn't take care of it before. She didn't need to. The VA is huge. It can take care of a lot of that stuff that falls through the cracks with Medicare. Okay? So, you know, take any and all options that are available to you and make it work for you. This is your health. No one else is going to look after you. Maybe, maybe some younger family members. But for the most part, and there are a lot of single retired people out there, no one's going to look, look after your health except you. Make sure you do your research before you reach Medicare age. Find out, these are just the top six that I think. There are others too. Find out what it covers. Find out what it doesn't. So you're not surprised down the line when you reach 65 and it's like, oh, wait a sec. Wait, what? I have to pay this for that? It's a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff that we have no idea about. I didn't. So anyway, Keep yourself informed, let's keep going, just like with our finances. As long as we're informed beforehand, before retiring or before reaching Medicare age, we'll be set up so much better for once we get there, right? And just remember, after doing all your knowledge and everything and your plan, just remember guys, we always got this.